Welcome to the next Versus episode, the show where I take one champion, pin it against another champion, and see who does more damage in Hydra. And today, Thor Feyhammer versus Akrizia. And this Thor is different than the other Thor on my main account. This one is built in Merciless, getting that extra 35% ignore defense. Here are the specific pieces of gear, basically focusing on our damage, as is usual, per usual, crit damage on crit damage, get the attack where you can get it. Defense and HP, as stated before on my other video. Thor is very squishy, low base defense, has a tendency to die, so it's important that we give him some survivability stats. Now it's preferable to have attack percent. We have speed on speed here on this Merciless boot. Blood shield ring, attack, some HP. Crit damage on crit damage on the stone skin. RIP to the subbies, but you know, it is what it is. And then attack with attack and preventing skill cooldown doesn't really uh, help him out here. But in arena, which I do use him in, uh, it does help. Here are the total stats. 62k HP, 3200 defense, 230 speed. Actually, let me show you the true stats in Hydra. 63k HP, almost 6000 attack, 3200, almost 3300 defense, 250 speed. 100% crit rate, 345 crit damage, 229 on the accuracy. Nature's Wrath for the Blessing, fully booked, taking Helm Smasher. This isn't different than my other nukers, counterattack. Akrizia, also in a Merciless set, six pieces for the Ignore defense. Here are her specific pieces of gear, a little bit different in the sense that her damage comes from enemy max HP, HP, and attack. Now, Akrizia has been heralded as a, a huge boss slayer because of her enemy max HP moves being on all of her moves, but we'll get to that in a minute. HP and attack percent on the chest. Crit rate, I, I want to crit damage, but it is what it is. Attack percent on the boots with speed. Attack with triple attack there and attack on the ascension. Crit damage with crit damage. Attack HP. Here are the total stats. 60k HP, 3400 defense, 6.6, 6,678 6, attack, and then 238 speed, 100% crit rate, 235. That's 100% less crit damage than Thor. But again, all of Akrizia's moves are based on enemy max HP, and against Hydra, those numbers are huge, especially going up against Nightmare, which we will be taking them into. So attacks one enemy, places decreased defense, Damage increases by 10% every time she uses it, up to 100%. AoE twice, shield on herself, equal to her max HP. Tax twice on her A3. Steals turn meter, but it doesn't apply in Hydra, and it can't be resisted if the target has higher max HP. Decreases damage taken from AoEs by 50%. This is her passive. If a target's max HP is more than double of this champion's max HP, the attacks will deal damage based on the target's max HP, instead of this champion's attack. We have Soul Reap on her. When I do get a six star blessing, I'll be changing this to Crushing Rend because I want to be able to ignore target defense every single hit. But for now, we'll stick with Soul Reap. And here are Akrizia's masteries. We're taking Helm Smasher as usual, and then we're taking the counterattack masteries as well. And then, like I said, we're going to be going into Nightmare, and I'm not saving this key because we have to um, not score high. So, I mean, I'm going to let it run all the way out, but I'm not going to be saving the key. So this is the team. Duchess, Chris, Supreme Gaelic in a Cursed set, Thor, and Inquisitor Shamael with Akrizia. So let's see who does more damage. All right, so here it is. And I really like this team. We get the block buffs up, we get the provoke, so we don't have to worry about anything getting removed. We have the HP burns, decreased speed, uh, well synergized. Uh, Duchess is also here because she is just a great overall support champion. I recently got this other champion that I summoned who I've been told is like a Duchess 2.0, but we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so Thor is doing 183. I saw on that head. Let's see what Akrizia is doing. Nice, we get that uh, block buff up for that reflect damage. Almost 300k on her A2 or her A3 that just happened. Almost 300k. And then Thor hitting for 70, 68, 12, 35. 
270, 210, a lot of those, and that was a double hit all around. 45 on Thor. Check this. 300, 275. And I'm pretty confident that this is going to go pretty far. All right, now we've got the Hex on. 376. And let's see what Acrisia does here. 300 on the decapitated head. We need to get decreased defense. Unfortunately, we just have to, at least for the decapitated head, one of the downfalls is we have to wait for Acrisia to attack to place the decreased defense. And the only other way we get decreased defense is if somebody hits Krisk. 961 from Thor. Check this out. 299. It's on sale. But yeah, because it's based on enemy max HP, I think that's why Acrisia is consistently hitting for 299. All right, 224 from Thor. And 299, 248 on the right. Yeah, so that's probably one of Acrisia's shortfalls. Like, that's just, that's just cap. But Thor doesn't really have that issue because his damage is just straight based on being a god but i'm curious because for the longest time acrisia was one of the champions was that was the champion that i wanted i have two of her now but i remember like a long time ago when she first came out and even way out further into the future i was just like dude i really want acrisia i remember buying so many void shards and spending so much money literally buying those void packs the ones that are like 200 something 260 dollars bro those chain ones those are freaking expensive to get like 80 void shards. I remember waiting for like two X's and 10 X's for Acrisia, going for Acrisia. Dude, <laughs> it's just crazy to think that I wanted her so badly. And uh, now I get to test her out to see, you know, who's going to do more, uh, Acrisia or Thor. But of course, uh, you know, Trunda still out damages Acrisia, I think. The other thing is if you go onto the lower levels of Hydra, because the Hydra heads on the lower levels have less max HP. Of course, anybody who does enemy max HP is going to hit less harder, harder, harder than anybody uh, or any of the heads on the higher levels because, you know, obviously Nightmare and Brutal have higher enemy max HPs. All right, we got 514 from Acrisia on that head over there. 196, 164 on Thor. All right. And this is sort of a little side thought that I just had. Um, you know, Polarium throws a lot of interesting champions, some cool champions or like completely broken champions that make us really want to go for all of them. And there's this, this hype or this feeling or this yearning, this hope or this want to, to get a champion, a specific champion like Acrisia, for an example. I wanted her for such a long time and then I finally got her. And not that I wasn't excited, but I was less excited or like I felt, I don't know, I feel like I had her on this pedestal when I wanted her. And then when I got her, I didn't really, I don't want to say I didn't care. Obviously, I, I cared, but like that that feeling, that intense emotion, um, that intense emotion that I that I had, I just, I just don't feel that. I know that I really want a mythical champion, but I also know that once I get that mythical champion, it's going to be, oh, just another day in the life. Like, uh, not boring because it's obviously going to be fun but i can't even really explain it maybe one of you guys can explain it a lot better than i am like what what is that feeling of really wanting something up until the point that you actually get that thing and then you no longer have that craving feeling for it another thing that i really like about having thor and acrisia but you know we're focusing on thor because i know a lot of people aren't going to have um acrisia i like the aspect that basically thor has like two or three moves that are aoe's so in case somebody gets eaten i don't have to worry about whether or not hex isn't up at that exact time i can just use thor's a2 or his a3 and the passive and it's reliable enough and it happens enough for me to say hey uh you know i, I i'm not worried about inquisitor shamayo getting eaten the other thing that i'm also paying attention to here is the overall damage that thor is going to do because remember this thor is wearing a merciless set as opposed to my other thor 
which is in a nine piece Slayer set. Something that I'm going to do in the future is take that main Thor and switch that out to a six piece, maybe seven. I only have up to seven. That's the best I can do on that account, I, both of these accounts. So what I'm gonna do is probably something like, uh, I don't know, take him into normal Hydra in nine piece Slayer, see what he does. And then after that, back out, put him in Merciless and then throw him into that same fight, the same exact team to see what he does, if it's significantly better or, or if there's a significant difference. Because I'm getting a lot of people telling me like, oh, uh, bro, like Slayer this, Slayer that, Merciless this, Merciless that. I, I know, I, I, I know. I've had like a hundred of you guys already tell me, I, I know. But let me just do this test for myself. I, even if I have like a hundred people telling me something, I'm gonna do whatever I want until I decide for myself that this is what I want. All right, so don't don't come at me in the comments. Tell me, burrito, you, you're being a fucking idiot, keeping Slayer on. Why don't you just put that shit in Merciless? Call it a day. Like, bro, I know I'm I'm I, I'm I'm gonna you know just just wait. Let me do my videos, bro. Let me do my videos, bro. Okay, guys, I think this is right around where the Hydra run on Nightmare is about to end. I mean, these guys are just getting eaten up, left and right. Acrisia and Thor are just gone, swallowed whole. Oh, never mind, Thor's back. He was like, no, Diddy, no. Not today, Diddy. Getting gobbled. Gobbledy gobbledy. They're doing their last ditch efforts to try to get whoever they can out, but it's just, it's not gonna happen. Skyrupture's doing its thing, but yeah. Thor is the last man standing. Check that out. Swallowed. 317 million damage on Nightmare. All right, there is the answer. Of course. I mean, let me I say of I say of course, but at the same time, part of me, I don't know why, but part of me thought to myself like, dude, I think Thor might actually do more than Acrisia. Thor is actually I think more stacked in terms of like everything that I have on him versus Acrisia. But Acrisia still outdamaged Thor. Normally, I run that team with two Acrisias, and I think I should put Acrisia back. My current high score is 342 million as opposed to 317 million. So, yeah, uh, my second Acrisia is definitely going back in that Nightmare team. Hey!